Hey guys, welcome to Moon Chance and Mediterra. So today we will continue with um, the predictions for the next six months for BTS's members. Um, and today we've got J-Hope's reading. So we're gonna look at the current energies to try to predict um, what what are coming for Hoseok um, in the next six months. So from now until the end of 2021. Um, we've got some tarot cards here to give us the details um, and then the, the oracle cards is here to kind of clarify or um, giving more additional um, information that we might need and then we can shuffle this together to um, find out if there is any um, other details that we might miss from the card. Um, before we start I, I have to say that for me as always um, when I do Hosok um, in individual Hosok's individual individual ah, I can't even speak individual uh, readings is the messages always come through pretty clear um, and um, and I don't really like need to explain a lot um, because the cards are kind of like self-explanatory um, so his readings sometimes are like shorter than for the other members it's not that because I don't want to talk about it, it's because I, I, there's not much job for me to do because the cards are pretty clear by themselves, um, in themselves. So, um, just want to get that clear. Uh, we also get less cards than normal today, um, with the oracle cards, but that doesn't really matter. Um, right, let's start with the tarot card. So first we have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Two knights. So that's interesting already. Um, Page of Cups. So we have like three elements here. Um, Page of Pentacles. Another. Do you see the patterns? We have the we have the knight, two knights, and then two pages. And one is in reverse and one is there. One is the upright position. What's going on? Three of wands in reverse. The death card in the upright position. Um, the page of wands in the upright position. Another page. But, but to me, wait, let's see. Wait, Ace of Swords. Can we fit all this in the screen? This is annoying because I never have enough space for all my cards. Um, and now we have the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups to end the reading with. This is really, really nice, like re beautiful energy to end this reading on. Um, I don't know if you can see all the cards, but we'll get, we will get through them. Um, what I see here is as conflicts as I said. We have we have knights, we have page, pages and they are like in reverse to each other. They are like and and the funny thing is I feel like because we have like ones against pentacles, cups against pentacles, it's like um emotionals versus R rational, if rational, rationality, emotion, emotions versus rational, ration. What am I? What am I talking about? It's like heart versus brain, and then we have um, career versus relationship. That's what we get here. Um, yeah, I do feel like. Also doesn't even know what he wants um, at this point. Like, when we look at this, um, it's almost like when I saw this first, the, this first card came out. I was like, oh my god, he's being really passionate and um, determined, and like, he's on fire about something, on something or someone. Like, the passion is strong, and like, the desire is burning, and he's ready to charge. But then. Next one, like the Knight of Pentacles comes in reverse, and it's like, hold on, um, 
it's like that there is maybe I'm assuming here but what I see if I if it wasn't if it's just a normal reading for anyone I would say um, that is like this person is being torn between like following his heart or maintaining his career like or the, the most um, how is it um, what I'm saying here like there will be situation where this person or Hosok <laughs> Also, uh, would like let his there there are, there will be moments that he are not aware of his emotionally he let he lets his heart drive him astray from from his normal routine you know like it would drag him out of his concentration. Or devotion for his job um, and he doesn't like that he doesn't like that he doesn't like being distracted um, but again like we can't argue with the heart so the heart the heart wants what it wants um, so so what I'm seeing is like the whole is being torn between the you know the the passion and the like um, the raging emotions of being involved passionate passionately with someone um, versus the the guilt of uh, neglecting his job like of or not neglecting but maybe spending less time on his work than before he would feel like with a with a workaholic and um, like him he would feel like oh my god. I never, I would never, I would never have thought that I would spend less time on making music um, just because um, I want to spend more time with a particular person. But it's happening, so it's like I'm losing control. I'm like I'm losing the control of my horse. <laughs> what am I talking about? What am I talking? About? I hope I'm making sense. But um, yeah, basically that's that's what it is. Um, his, his being, it's, it's not a bad feeling, I have to clarify, it's not a bad feeling, but it's, it's confusing in a way, um, because he's doing things that he never would have thought that he would be doing. Um, and I guess we, we all go through that phases at some point in life, where you're like, where you're so attracted by someone, you went out of your way to be with them. That, that is that is the thing um, and then we have like page of cups and page of pentacles also in reverse so it's definitely like someone's offering also um, a lot of love like a cup of love um, and I feel like his his feelings are reciprocated so it's like a it's not a one-way um, relationship or anything um, and he also wants to reciprocate this, but but when we have this page of pentacles here, it's like shouldn't it also be like shouldn't, shouldn't I be focusing on my career more than like more than uh, being distracted by a relationship at this point? I I don't I don't feel like at this point in life or in career he's he's ready or he he was expecting to have. A serious relationship um, that would that he think that would compromise his career in some way. Um, so he's like, I want, I also want to be to to receive this cup and offer my cups back. But at the same time, am I doing the right things for my career? Like, would it affect my career or would it affect me professionally? Um, that is just like the conflicting, conflicting energy that we're getting here with all these cards um, which is pretty really interesting uh, and then we and then the funny thing is that we have the death card in right in the middle of the, of the video we'll get to it um, like also the confusions 
it also pertains to this card as well, like Three of Wands. Because um, normally I would interpret it um, Three of Wands as like the visionary, um, like someone's having a vision, a dream, a plan to go ahead to conquer a new piece of land or like to, to reach a new destination, but here it is in reverse. Um, so there are things, there are places that also wants to go metaphor metaphorically. But he's, he's, he's in this confused and conflicting stage and he's like, should I go there? Can I get there? Um, what, what do I have to do? What do I have to lose? What do I have to compromise? Um, so I guess it's like, even with some someone who's very level-headed like also, this is this situation is new. Um, and he's confused, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, but then we've got the death card and then it, it starts picking up on there. So I think the death card is always um, significant when it comes to a situation that that would like the uh, an end of a cycle. So so th there is a significant ending to something, um, and that will that would open up uh, another door or like a beginning for other things to come. Um, so I guess these the whole conflicting and confusing energy is coming to an end. Right around um, September, I guess September, August, yeah, August, end of August, September, um, and then things will get a lot clearer for us. Like he would make up his mind. I think he would see that if if the person is worth uh, is worth his while, is, is is the one that he wants, is the one that he has been destined for. Then he would not have to compromise anything when it comes to his career. Um, he can both be with this person and be successful or devoted to his to his um, job, his career. Um, because let's be honest, a real a real relationship, an ideal relationship, or a destined relationship um, doesn't doesn't mean it is it's, it's, when it's, it's meant to be when it helps us grow when it when it helps us grow um, it is not the one when we have to compromise anything to get it um, it should come easy and naturally as long as we understand how it works um, so I think also will come to that real realization that he can have both he can pursue both. Um, and then you start picking up from here. We have page of ones. Um, he, he has made up his mind. He's being determined about it. He's being hopeful um, and inspired and motivated and passionate about what he would do. Like he, he gets really excited about what, what is ahead of him, both in relationship and in, in career. And then we have like Ace of Swords, which is also like determinations. Um, new beginnings, so he might make things clear with his love interest. Um, they might start like being with each other officially, or they will take it up to another level. Um, then we we'll have like the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So it's like I think this relationship will grow also significantly. Like he will grow so fast in in terms of relationship or like emotionally um, because being being with the right person changes us so immensely we don't even know um, I think he would grow into someone who's very very caring um, very gentle very romantic um, like super sweet um, and super thoughtful and he would he would like pamper his loved ones with a lot of gifts and praises and and a lot of like physical physical touches. Um, like cause the, the King of Cups is the perfect the perfect partner um, when it comes to like masculine energy. Um, he's so and I I guess once it's happened like once Hosok started being in a serious serious relationship we will we will see him glow um 
like physically like we, we can see the changes in his skin and his hair I don't know why I'm mentioning this but, but that's let's see if it happens um, I think his skin will get like a lot clearer <laughs> um, and he might dye, dye his hair in like bright colors um, or like really unique color yeah not bright but like unique color I would like to see that because the hot is someone who's like very rarely dyes his hair and then we end the reading with like Ten of Cups, this is the perfect, like, the perfect family. I don't think he's gonna get married and have kids by the end of this year, but this is like the perfect card when it comes to relationship. It's harmonious, it's love, it's contentment, it's protection, it's also, it's like a home family. So, so this person that, that also is having a love interest with, I think is someone that he's meant to be with uh, for a long time. Um, someone who brings him a lot of happiness, someone who's very understanding, supportive. Um, someone is the real match to him. Um, yeah, and, and then, then they will want to build a stable, a stable future together. Um, but the Ten of Cups is like absolutely beautiful. Um, for for reading for the reading to end in um it's like dream life coming true um right let's have a look at the oracle cards we only have two oracle cards two oracle cards today um we have balance spirituality and practica practicality what did I, see we were talking about conflicting and um reversing energy here it is time for us to like really work it out and try to balance what it, the two things that is most important to him in life, which is like relationship, building family, and building his career. Um, and I think it's fit right here um, after he's made his decision um, around this time and like trying to ground his energy, trying to understand that he doesn't have to compromise one thing for another. He can have both and both can exist harmoniously in his life um, and then we have fox spirit cleared out the clutter again it's like it's about clearing out the conflicting and shuffling energy the energies that, the, that do not really align um, also the frog is about like taking preparing to take a leap so it's also, it's also about making up your mind to take a huge step forward, like to make significant change, to make the change of a lifetime is what I'm hearing. So it's definitely something um, that would happen um, as, as we talked about before, like making making up his also needs to make up his mind um, and like declutter the, the thoughts in his in his head and ready to leap forward because he will as we say as I said before like he will grow so much being in this in this, in this relationship it's like life changing and it's like we we, we go we he would go from the page of cups in reverse to the king of cups and the ten of cups so it's like a huge leap um, that we can see here so that totally makes sense also I noticed that these two cards have like green feel to them, um, so yeah, it's, 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 they make me think of the heart chakra and something about something to do with like emotional connections, um, love and things like that. Um, so yeah, I think that, that kind of makes sense with the whole reading. Um, so now we can shuffle this together and see if there's any additional messages that we might miss. Right. See, it's always easy to read for Hosok. I love that. Oh. See? Happiness, happiness. It's totally the Ten of Cups. It's the Ten of Cups. And the thing is, we see two dolphins here. And dolphins, if I'm not wrong, they made for life. So um, the person that Hosok is meant to be with is his, his life partner. Um, he's in for a really, really long term relationship. And now we have miracles. It's so beautiful also. We also have like two rainbows here. 
I mean, it cannot get clear and it cannot get more beautiful than this. Um, whoever it is that is coming into her supply or is already in his life, I think, um, it's a miracle to him. Um, and, he, and he will learn that. Um, and once they decided to come together officially um, and they connect to each other at a, at a higher level, they will experience like significant changes and they will just like see miracles everywhere. Um, but I think that's it's really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I really, I really hope that this would happen um, for Zaka because he deserves the best. Um, and someone deserves to have his love because, I mean, um, Hosok has a has a heart of gold, and it would be so so lucky to have his his love. Um, but yeah, I think that's all that I have for um, this reading. Thank you so much for stay, uh, for being with me, and I hope you enjoyed this reading. I will be back with um, the readings for the rest of the members um, and please stay safe and stay positive wherever you are and I will see you in the next reading.